Hello. In this video, we are going to create tabs so that if we have a program that has multiple windows we want to be able to scroll through, we can do that. Um, just to give you a look at what we're going to end up with is something like this. We'll have tab 1 and then we'll have tab 2. And I put a button in tab 2. And we'll talk about how to do that. We're going to do this in this video setting up so that it is not enclosed within a class. So the first thing I do is I import I have to import some stuff. Now this is a little bit different because I have to import a couple other things. I'm going to import tkinter as tk and then from tkinter I have to import something called ttk. Um, this is just an added package that manages some additional pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my main window um, by creating an instance of tk. Um, so create instance then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the title by using an instance method on it. And this is going to be tabs, or GUI tabs. This creates or sets title. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I have to create something called a tab control. What a tab control is, is it's an object that manages the actual tabs that we put within our within our within our, our root window. So what we're going to end up doing is creating a tab and then putting it into the tab control. So the tab control is actually something we need to import from the TTK module. So I'm going to make an instance of what's called a notebook and I just have to indicate that I'm putting it in the root window. So this again, that's you know with all of these our first parameter always indicates what window we're making it part of. And now I'm going to set up my first tab. So tab one equals TTK dot, and I make a frame, and then I add that frame to tab control. So if you can kind of picture this, what we've done is we've created, we've created tab control. And then what we've done is we've, and we've put tab control inside of the root window, which is our main program window. And then what we do is we create tab and put in tab control. So it's like nest, nested, nested, Russian nesting dolls, right? You have your root window on the outside and then inside that is your tab control and then inside that is tab one. Okay, so, but we have to do a couple other things here. Um, what we need to do just gonna shrink this a little bit. There we go. What we need to do is we're gonna say tab control dot add. We're gonna add tab one, and the text is gonna be tab one. This is what's called a named parameter because I'm passing a parameter into this function, but I've given it a, na a name so that it knows specifically what to do with it. So this will add the tab. And then what we do is we tab control. We do the same thing here, tab control dot pack. So what we're going to pack and we're going to set a couple name parameters. We're going to expand equals one. And we'll take a look what that does a little later. And fill equals both. And I hit enter a couple times. And I'm just going to do root dot main loop. So let's just give this a run and make sure it's working. So right click, give this a run. And there's my tab. Now I only have one tab right now, but oh, pull that back up. There it is. But you notice a couple things. If I take this, notice how this is actually changing size. Um, let's just kind of take a look for a second. Let's just X this out for a second. I'm going to check this expand to zero. And now I'm going to give it a run. Let's see what happens. Oh, can't find the edge here. You see now how the tab doesn't actually expand to fill the space? Here, I'll pull the two next to each other. Leave that one up, and we'll pull expand one, and we'll give this a run again. And let's draw this a little bigger, and we can see the tab's taking up the whole space here. Let's pull up the previous one. Here you see the tab's kind of stayed stuck up at the top. Um, that is what that expand does. And then fill just means to fill in both the horizontal and vertical directions. Um, again, this can seem overwhelming because there's all these named parameters, but 
this is where you learn to kind of use the internet and go out and use their documentation to kind of pick out what you need to do. All right, let's make a second tab. Tab two equals GTK. It's the same thing. We just have to name it something different. Tab control, tab control dot add tab two. Text is, let's call it tab two. Um, tab control dot pack. And again, we're going to say expand equals one and fill equals both. So now if I run this, you have tab one, you have tab two, and I can switch between them. So in the next video you can watch, um, I'm going to stop here, but you can see how to add individual things to the, the specific tabs. I hope that helped. Have a great day.